Call queues temporarily hold calls in the cloud when all users or agents assigned to receive calls from the queue are unavailable. When agents become available, the queued calls are routed according to the call routing settings you've determined for the call queue. Administrators can create and modify a call queue and its settings in Control Hub. Let's take a look at how to create a new call queue. Go to Services and choose Calling. Select Features and then Call Queue. Click Create Call Queue. This pop-up walks you through setting up your call queue. Determine the location where you want this call queues designed. Enter a name for the call queue. This name is simply used to identify the call queue in Control Hub. Assign a primary phone number and or extension. Assign the maximum number of calls for this call queue. Once this number is reached, the overflow settings are triggered. Enter the caller ID first and last name for the call queue. The caller ID assigned here, along with the calling party caller ID name and number, will show when the call queue agents are receiving an incoming call from the queue. The caller ID is also used for calls that are forwarded outside of this call queue. Choose the language from the dropdown. Click Next. On the call routing page, choose one of the following options. Circular cycles through all agents after the last agent that took a call. It sends calls to the next available call queue agent. Top down sends calls through the queue of agents in order, starting from the top each time. Longest idle sends calls to the agent that has been idle the longest. If they don't answer, proceeds to the next agent who's been idle second longest, and so on until the call is answered. Waited sends calls to agents based on percentages you assign to each agent in the call queue profile, up to 100%. Simultaneous sends calls to all agents in a call queue at once. Click Next to save and continue. On the Overflow Settings page, determine how overflow calls are handled. Choose one of the following options from the drop-down menu. Perform busy treatment. The caller hears a fast, busy tone. Play ringing until caller hangs up. The caller hears ringing until they disconnect. Transfer to phone number. Enter the number where you want to transfer overflow calls. You can also enable these additional overflow settings. Enable overflow after calls wait a defined number of seconds. With this option, you can enter a wait time in seconds for callers. Once this wait time is reached by the caller, the overflow treatment is triggered. Play announcement before overflow processing. If this option is disabled, callers will hear hold music until the call is answered by a user. Click Next to save and continue. On the Announcements page, you can determine the messages and music that callers will hear while waiting in the queue. You can enable any of the following options. Welcome message. Play a message when callers first reach the queue. For example, thank you for calling. An agent will be with you shortly. It can be set as mandatory. If the mandatory option is not selected and a caller reaches the call queue while there is an available agent, the caller will not hear this announcement and is transferred to an agent. Estimated wait message for queued calls. Notify the caller with either their estimated wait time or position in the queue. If this option is enabled, it plays after the welcome message and before the comfort message. Comfort message. Play a message after the welcome message and before hold music. This is typically a custom announcement that plays information, such as current promotions or information about products and services. Hold music. Play music after the comfort message in a repetitive loop. Once your selections are made, click Next to save and continue. On the Select Agents page, use the search tool to add users or workspaces to the call queue and click Next. Note, depending on which call routing option you chose previously, you may need to add extra information such as adding percentage weighting to users or workspaces, or in the case of circular or top-down call routing, drag and drop users and workspaces in the order of their queue position. On the Review page, Review your call queue settings to make sure you've entered the correct details. Click Create and Done to confirm your call queue settings. Your call queue is now created and available to modify when needed on the Call Queues page within Control Hub.